Silverfast HDRs and HDR Studio's job manager is the key feature when it comes to efficient batch processing. It administers to every queued image frame, and every frame corresponds to its very own entry in the job manager. Double clicking a job manager entry loads the image in the preview area. It is possible to change the order in the job manager and remove entries. The job manager allows for the transfer of tool settings from one frame to another. The combined current entries form a job and as such can be saved for later use. Thus, all settings and optimizations are saved as well. By this means, it is possible to prepare images for batch processing at one time and perform the actual processing at a later time. Save Job saves the current contents of the job manager under a new name. If the job already exists, the latest changes will be saved. Create New Job removes the current content from the job manager and starts a new empty job. Load a job gives access to previously saved jobs. The new job replaces the current contents of the job manager. The Job Actions button opens a menu with the option to load or delete saved jobs. Multi-jobs is another menu entry here. In order to configure a multi-job, check the jobs to be processed in the Jobs dialog. Drag and drop jobs in order to change the processing order. After clicking OK, the Job Manager window will feature a new menu to switch between jobs. Jobs are processed according to their order in this menu. Multi-jobs are especially useful when it comes to the processing of the same set of input images for different output formats. In our example, we output the image set three times. Firstly, we want color images at a resolution of 300 ppi. Secondly, color images at 150 ppi. And thirdly, black and white images at 150 ppi. For each output option, we create a separate job based on the previous job. We start with a job for color images at 300 ppi. We set the desired options on the first frame, transfer all relevant settings to the remaining frames, and save the job. Then, we duplicate the job by selecting Saved Current Job As from the Job Actions menu. We set the new job up by switching the resolution to 150 ppi, transferring the settings to all frames, and then saving the job. Now, we duplicate this job again in order to set up the black and white output. We select one of the black and white output formats, apply the new settings to all frames, and save. Now, in the Job Actions menu, we select Multi-Job and check the three newly created jobs. We click OK and start the batch processing. Once all the jobs are processed, we have created image files in three different formats and colors, ready for use.